DSMS, it's Zoe and Tati with your October 12th edition of DSMS TV News. There will be no announcements tomorrow. And now to the birthdays. Hey guys, it's Jonah with the birthdays. The birthdays for the rest of the week are Layla Johnson, Kyle Justice, Kendra Kuo, Catalina Connor, Ethan Moorhead, Elizabeth Mude, Ashton Wilhelm, and Wyatt Gray. Sorry if I pronounced your names wrong, and now to the sport. We will, we will hey DSMS, it's Elizabeth here with your sports. Today there's a boys basketball and girls softball game versus Pinnacle Peak here at DSMS. The 7th grade softball team improved their record by 5 wins and 1 loss by beating Shea yesterday 23-3. We had an exciting triple play in the fourth inning. Come watch our final game today at 4.30 here at DSMS. That's all I have for today. And now to a video from the ladies in the office wanting you to be happy. Be happy, DSMS. We're back. Today is National Savings Day, National Vermont Day, National Free Thought Day, National Farmers Day, and National Gumbo Day. Sorry if you didn't see the announcements yesterday. It's because we are having complications. We'll be showing it directly after today's announcements. And now to the DSMS happenings. That's all we have for today, and remember to stay classy, DSMS. <laughs> Good morning, Desert Shadows. I'm Katie O'Boyle. And I'm Derek Hummert. One of the best parts of our day is during lunch, lunch period in the courtyard and in the cafeteria. That's the time we get to be with the 7th and 8th grade students and engage and talk with you all. And that's really where we like to see you. Uh, unfortunately, we often see students that come to the office either because of a discipline issue or a problem. And I will tell you that over the past few weeks, we've had some problems with loss uh, or property damage where somebody's uh, personal items, might be a phone, might be a bicycle or some other thing of value is lost. And I think all of us know what it feels like to lose something that's special to us. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about that today. And we can all help one another by respecting one another's property. And so I'm going to give a few tips here to students that I think is going to be helpful. One, uh, don't touch other people's things. Even if you think it's a joke or a prank and you have your hands on someone's phone or bike, uh, we've also had some problems with vandalism, which results in a referral and sometimes police action. Uh, and the other thing you can do is to not buy things at school. Uh, Desert Shadows Middle School is not a marketplace, so you should not be buying or selling anything. Not Girl Scout cookies, um, not uh, ID cards, uh, not anything. And if you do find your somebody that you, you, they sell you something, uh, that should raise some suspicion in your mind uh, because Desert Shadows is not the place for that. And it could very well be that that artifact or item that you want to buy was taken from somebody else. And that is something that does not feel very good. Um, so just avoid all purchases and do not sell things to Desert Shadows. Um, those would be violations of our code of conduct and it might end up hurting somebody that we care about. Mm -hmm. And I always say that if we just all abided by the golden rule, which is to treat others as we would like to be treated, uh, we would avoid all these type of problems. So keeping that in mind, um, there have been some really positive behaviors that we've seen um, in the hallways and around campus. And partic particularly, I'm talking about students who come to school, uh, maybe on crutches or, or who are injured. And I've seen so many um, acts of kindness around where students are carrying backpacks and holding doors open for these students. Um, their school day is just a little bit more difficult sometimes um, with those crutches and things. So I wanna thank those people who have done those things and just encourage others to be mindful of those who might be on crutches just to help them out. 
Um, the second thing that I would like to address is that of cell phones. Just want to remind everybody that we are cell phone free um, from the time that school starts to the time that school ends, except for lunch. And that's the only time you should have a cell phone out. We have seen a lot more cell phone usage trying to happen in between classes and passing period. So um, just remember that that is not a time to get your phone out and send off a quick message or or use your phone to take a picture. Uh, so we'd like to decrease any cell phone activity um, that's going on in between classes. Thank you. Mr. Hummer, you mentioned um, that we see students sometimes on crutches being supported by others. And one thing that I think about when I see that, and it's, it is great to see our students holding doors open and carrying backpacks for others, is that there are many among us who have a sadness or an injury that isn't visible, that isn't a broken leg or a broken arm, but maybe something you know, we talked about mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. So it might not be the body. It might be the, the mind or the spirit on a given day. I think it's always good to recognize that the people that we interact with, and we have a lot of interactions at school, uh, they may not be having their best day. And when we think about that, and we think about that everybody has challenges and struggles, uh, that's one way that we can, we can respect one another, too. Absolutely, Miss O'Boyle. Everybody loves, everybody loves Miss O'Boyle's big heart at school. And so um, we love seeing those acts of kindness. Keep it up. Desert Shadows is a great place to work and learn. And that's all for me, Mr. Hummer. Stay classy, be kind, and be brave. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. Somebody tell me please This whole world confused